Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Southeast Asian Dating. So today we're looking at the online dating scams in Thailand. So first question is, what are the online dating scams? One of the most popular is where you have a profile of a beautiful man or beautiful woman and they speak to foreigners in order to build trust and once this has been done, the scammer will naturally mention to the person, my life is very complicated, uh, I have no money and uh, all I need is a little bit of cash to help me overcome this challenge that I'm going through or this lifestyle. And sometimes foreign gentlemen will give gifts or financial support and uh, in some cases become an overseas sponsor which we'll talk about in another video. At this point you may be wondering, well where does the scam take place? Well the scam happens on several different levels. The first type of scam is that money being requested is not for living but is used for investments or for other purposes. But speaking on the topic of investment, some scammers have now decided to come out and just tell their victims that they are investing in an investment opportunity and they should invest with them to make a lot of money. This of course is untrue. The next level of the scam is often referred to as the romance scam. In this, the scammer is not who they say they are. Pictures and videos have been downloaded from different places and shared and this is commonly referred to as catfishing. Even if the scammers are who they say they are and you've seen videos and spoken to them online and seen their face, in some circumstances scammers have boyfriends and husbands who can be foreign as well as Thai who encourage their girlfriends to join dating sites to convince foreigners to give them money. But funny enough, I was in a similar situation, kind of. I was dating a girl for many, many months and she was amazing, very, very nice, very friendly, great personality, very beautiful. And we dated for a long time. Over those months, we got to know each other very well. And it was only until we went our own ways and decided to be friends did I realize that she was receiving money from Australia and from America. But the thing that made me feel uncomfortable was that the money she took, she spent on going on holiday with me, having fancy dinners and many other exciting things. And I can only imagine if I was that guy back in my home country, paying money to somebody, only to realize it was being used for different purposes. Now I'm not saying that every kind of situation is a scam because there are some people who are genuinely in bad situations and they do befriend foreigners and the only way they see out is to gather some money to improve their life. But there are of course a lot of scams out there. In other words, dating scams in Thailand are at all time high. In fact, many news outlets and independent publishers have spoken about this in more detail. If you understand the risks and you're still happy to send money, then it's completely your choice. But if you're sending money and you're not sure if it's a scam or not, I would ease on the side of caution. 